for uh, for some more dry land. Uh, first and last time of the week. Sophia's not here. She's lifting. Um, as you can see, I came straight from uh, from my inlines. So I'm a little tired. I did some uh, tough intervals and uh, and like I've, I mentioned that a few times before, but these uh, shorter dry land sessions can be combined with inline skating. Uh, it's a really good way to either continue the the strength, the physical part of the skating off the skate so we don't mess up the technique too badly or uh, the other way around it's a good way to start a workout so we can get everything right before uh before we get on the on the wheels or the blades whichever we're doing I'm just gonna try and see if the camera works like that you guys are able to see me seems okay i don't know how much time we got Oh, we still got a few more minutes. Nice to see more than 20 people already. Um, I am live from Portugal. Uh, the Autodromo it's called. Uh, it's what, 10 kilometers outside the city of Portimao. And uh, it's a pretty sweet spot. It's, it has a really nice, you can almost see it in the background. It starts at the roundabout. There's a six kilometer circuit with the perfect surface for inline skating. Uh, so that's where I've been kicking into walls this morning. That was, uh, that was pretty tough. Uh, that explains my hair and my uh, terrible technique, if it happens to be so. Um, today is going to be short. Uh, I won't explain too much before we get everybody here. Still got one more minute to get set, to get ready. More than 20 people. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. And, uh, Salut Simon, ça fait plaisir de te voir. Uh, nice to see uh, some different nationalities. Got a French guy with us. Uh, let me know if you're uh, if you checked in. Let me know if you're fresh. I uh, did a terrible stairs workout. Uh, not even yesterday. Hey, Lata. But two days ago, and uh, I feel more sore this morning than uh, <laughs> than yesterday. So that's pretty terrible. Um, I'll try and see if I can get the, the best out of it. So uh, if I'm struggling, don't copy. Uh, just do it as good as, as well as you can. Like I said, today is three exercises. There's one completely new exercise. Um, Hey Marek, nice to see you again. Uh, pretty cool to see more and more people checking in. Um, uh, we reached the, the time of, uh, of the live stream. Um, at first, uh, I got cool news. Sofia and I, uh, ciao Milano. Nice to see Italians. Uh, we got some cool news. Sofia and I figured that we would try and like boost this whole train together but apart society. So. Uh, we came up with some really cool and funny quotations um, for skating and uh, Sophia designed some really nice t-shirts with it. I think you can see in the description below this video or any video that I posted Strasvice Moskva um, that uh, you can see the t-shirts below and there is also hoodies and they have like fun quotes. Uh, you can check it out. We're, uh, we're pretty proud of it and uh, we think it's a nice way to sell those t-shirts. Um, we're not taking a lot of profit, but uh, they're really funny and it would be cool to see more people wear them. We already ordered every single one of them, so we'll have ours in a few weeks. Uh, stuff like, uh, basically things making fun of skating, making fun of dry land, the leg burn. Uh, you'll see, they're hilarious. And uh, I think Sophia did a really good job uh, designing them in a nice way. But they're below the video, so check that out. And uh, I shouldn't forget to mention, last time we saw some super chats, that was really cool. We looked at a tripod that's a little more stable and taller, so I won't have to uh, to put it on the roof of our rental car. Guten Tag, Deutschland. And um, that would be pretty sweet. So that's what we're uh, like taking all the super chat money and putting them in, in a pot for, uh, for a nice tripod when we uh, got enough. So everybody that's super chat, everybody that keeps super chatting, uh, that's so nice to see you're supporting in that way. Uh, it's a dollar sign below the video where you can click and you can donate any amount from I think it's from one dollar or half a dollar or euro. Um, Salut Paris, bienvenue à l'entraînement. Ça va brûler aujourd'hui, mais on va s'amuser. Alors, uh, let's let's get to it. I think that was about it for now. Check the T-shirts out and all super chats are highly appreciated. Um, so before we get into the exercises today, I am going to um, explain how it's going to work. There's uh, three options. If you forget what I'm saying, I will try and recap uh, all the way through. Or you can also check the description where I, I wrote the exercises and uh, the different options for how hard you want to go. Um, there's three, three different um, options. There's like 
I wouldn't call it beginner because it's still pretty tough and it's still gonna hurt tomorrow, but uh, level one, two, and three. And basically every third minute we start another exercise and then we got three minutes of set rest at the end of the set. There's only two sets, three exercises. Um, so I'm gonna do two minutes on, one minute off. Uh, you can also do a minute and a half and a minute and a half, or you can just do one minute on and two minutes off. Uh, as always, I, I try and remind myself and everybody that's watching this that technique should come first. Uh, there's a lot of good people in really good shape, but there's a reason Chris Froome is not the best inline skater in the world. Uh, it takes technique. Um, so let technique come first, and then once you got that set, you can let it burn. We've been through some statical exercises, some of the super simple one. Uh, we're gonna do one more today, the kill zone, where there's almost no movement, or the weight transfers that are incredibly simple. Um, they burn. Uh, simple doesn't mean easy. And then uh, last week we had some some more dynamic stuff with some jumping. There were some skate jumps, there were some double skate jumps, a lot of coordination, and it was a little harder to perform technically well. Uh, and in this workout, we have three exercises and it's sort of a combination of the two types of dry lane. So the, uh, the first exercise is the kill zone. Um, it's nice to have first so we can adjust a little. We have our time to really feel the hips, to get settled in, to not get wobbly in the legs and almost like an active warm-up, uh, not a fun one. And um, so we start off with the kill zone and uh, yeah, uh, sit low. This is where you get the time to, to do that right. There's not a lot of, of stress there. Um, so that should be pretty easy. Um, and then second exercise, if I remember correctly, I might not even uh, remember it. I think it is the, uh, it's the weight transfer. Am I wrong? Uh, could be possibly side extensions. If anybody can see the description, I can't do it as I do my life. Um, it should be side extensions, if I remember correctly. And then the final one is a, oh, thanks a lot. Yeah, good luck. Let's hope we all survive through this. Um, for the super chat, um, I appreciate that a lot. And uh, I know Sophia does that too. So we start out with the kill zone. I'll do first of the two sets from the front so you can see how that looks. And then the second one from the side, if I'm still low enough. But first one is kill zone. So it's really slow movement. And just feel that smooth weight transfer. Lead with the hip. You don't have to perform a full movement. You don't need to extend. This is really just keeping everything aligned as we go from side to side. Try not to overcomplicate it. Simple movements, but the basics are key to good skating. Um, so second up, extensions. We've been through that before. It really hurts the side of the butt. Uh, same way, statical, get down in position, and then just let that leg go out and everything else should be super relaxed. Try not let the knee in, the upper body out. If you have a line, use it. Um, also, don't look down. If you have a mirror, you can also use it um, and check, check up on yourself. You can also use me as a mirror. I'll try and do it as good as I can. Just a smoothie out to the side. Three in each leg. Go for the other leg. Three back, three back. And then the final exercise, the new one, is up-down, which we had before. Uh, but this time it's up-down dry skate, uh, which means it's going to be a little more dynamic. It's almost an explosive movement to the side to get some of that rhythm that we practiced last week into this workout. So we do our single leg up down, but as we go down, instead of that smooth movement that we had last time, this time we go down and over. All right, uh, so that's, the, that's today's challenge, getting that one in once we got the leg burn from the first exercises. Um, some of the common mistakes is that we tend to jump up when we do it, because we think of it as a jump but make sure you think of it as an explosive weight transfer. Uh, when you're out skating, you obviously don't want every step to be up. You want it to be to the side so we can generate speed. So in this one, same goes. You go down, but not as loading to do a jump upwards. You go straight. So you go down, straight to the side, up. Also another uh, common mistake is that right before we set off with the knee, a lot of people tend to cave in like this. And once we do that, it's easy to twist. So make sure this line, the leg is straight all the way through the movement. So you go down. Sometimes you even want to put a little bit of weight on the outside of your uh, shoes. That way it helps keeping this tense and holding the knee out. This is going to burn your butt, uh, FYI. 
if there's any questions, I will uh, try and answer them and we can go in a minute and a half. Hey, from Portugal? Oh, some locals. Hey, India. Thanks for the donation, Russia. That's really nice to see. Hey, Paris. Hey, Germany. Hey, Vienna. I'm from Denmark. I don't know if there's any Danish viewers. Uh, we had a few last, the last couple of workouts, but it's really nice to see y'all. And um, yeah, it's, it's good fun. Uh, for me, this is sort of a, uh, I wouldn't call it a cool down, but uh, the way I use this is right after skating today, uh, where I had a pretty hard session, the hardest of the, of the week. And uh, I did four long sets, and at the end I got a little sloppy with the technique, so to not overdo the, uh, the, the skating part, I do this on shoes, where it's a little easier to, to keep everything together when it gets hard. So we'll be starting in 40 seconds, get ready. Remember... It's only three minutes, three minutes, three minutes, then a three minute set rest, and then we go one more time. I'll do the first set from the front and try and do the second set from the side. There's one minute of rest if you do the same as me. So two minutes on, one minute off, but there's three different ways to do it. And they're all in the description, so you can check that out. And uh, three minutes at rest. I will try and answer all the questions you have as we go. Like you saw right now, somebody um, uh, use the super chat um, you can do that and I'll make sure to do it and last exercise that hip come first to do that yes you should try and use the hip first I know are you ready to start we feel 72 seconds here we go I know it's really hard to go completely with the hip first which makes a lot of good sense that's why for example slide port can uh, can give you some bad habits even though it's a great tool uh, because simply if you go with the hip first there is there's no leverage to keep you standing so you're gonna tumble to the side uh, that makes a lot of good sense. That's why it feels safer to go with leg first. However, try really and do it. It's better to have a little point tilt to the side than to, to be just in the middle of it. So get as much of a weight transfer in as you can. This one is really just feeling it in the hips. Feel how you almost push the ground away from you. I don't think we're that strong, but that's the how you want to feel. Try and keep this, the recovery leg as we call it, smooth movement so it's not rushed in, rushed out. Again, this is not a full recovery circles as you would see when we do the circles, but it still has to be really relaxed. That's what makes skating easy. Get that blood flow going. Shoulders are parallel to the ground, feet pointing forward, put them down next to each other. If you're moving too far forward as we go through this exercise, something's wrong. Even though it's hard to get the hip first and not fall onto it, try really keep this knee out feel like you're stepping onto it. And that was two minutes. That went pretty quick. Got one minute rest. And uh, that was one sixth of the program. Uh, whenever I do my dry line, I feel my pressure in knees rather than hips. You should just for that. Um, yeah, try and get the hip under. Um, so try and think of pushing your belly button forward. You can even try and raise your shoulders. Uh, one of the reasons you don't feel so much like in the glutes in the butt is if you skate like this um, then it's really hard to activate the glutes because they're, they're so far off from where you have the center of gravity so try and push everything a little under instead of skating like this try this it even feels easier you use some of that shin tension to sit naturally in the position um, that's also one of the reasons i try and remind people to look through the eyebrows um, makes it easier in that way to not fall too far forward and then you can keep this activated keep it under yourself and use the butt to push and here we go three on each side and switch leg for this one even though it can feel hard take your time with the steps don't rush it out and fall in on the knee super smooth you can even use your arms to try and get that rhythm going if 
supposed to feel it right here. So cool to see that many people with us right from the start. 30, 30 viewers, 30 hardworking skaters out there. I wonder if that's because I promised it only takes 20 seconds or 20 minutes. 20 seconds, I'll be good. Just gives it a little more energy. Stay focused all the way through. Stay low. Again, here is a, this exercise is a really nice way to like pre-fix some of the very common mistakes when we're skating. Uh, the fact that you have this change of positioning in the lower body that can affect the upper body and lose speed. So really make that calm, relaxed. It's also an easy way to practice pushing straight to the side and not backwards. Uh, one way of pushing backwards is actually pushing backwards. Another way is opening up, twisting, make sure the feet point perfectly straight forward all the time. 20 more seconds. Feeling it. And rest. That's two out of three. First set. It's gonna be fast today. Make sure to make it hard, otherwise, there's no reason to do it at all. Uh, let me see, sure. Uh, yeah, it also, like, sometimes just you feel it in the knees because it's. Uh, it's unusual movements. There's a lot of pressures on the knee, hard pressure on the knees. They're pointing, they're in a pretty exposed position. You have a lot of body weight going out there. Um, so that might be one of the reasons. Now it's time for the new exercise. Uh, this is an up down dry skate. This is a pretty complicated exercise, so it takes a lot of focus to do it right. Uh, but don't, don't get scared, scared if it's a little possible to combine rhythm and that smooth movement. But Take it at your own pace, be really patient with it. Let that, two seconds, and go. Let that natural movement from up. It's a little hard to do with hands on the back. You're more than welcome to use it. Just make sure as you go down, stay down when you go to the side. chance that you're gonna feel your heart rate. Uh, this is more active than the other exercises. Don't let the other body get out of position even though it's a more powerful movement. Don't let it twist out. Keep that smooth rhythm. Make sure you start to build power as soon as you go down. Not start to go to the side, but load that leg. From here, low, and push. Five more seconds. And rest. That's the set rest. So we got three minutes till we go again. Huh. Let's see what the hard rate is at. I'm at 133. I think for me that's pretty high. How did that go? Oh, still more than 30 people. Impressive. Nice to see y'all. Hey from India. How are you? I'm a little tired. <laughs> 
this for me this was the first actual hard training week of the whole season um, as some of you might know I'm an ice skater that's my uh, main profession uh, other than doing these <laughs> YouTube videos um, and uh, I trained for the winter season hoping that COVID-19 is is behind us when we get to that point so I can uh, I can do World Cups and World Championships and hopefully do really good at the next Olympics um, so uh, so this is my preparation for the oh, 139 solid uh, so this is my preparation for the winter and uh, and this is when I start the real work so the last month I've been doing some adaptation stuff getting uh, getting ready to train hard and uh, this month uh, or this week I started with my first hard week and uh, it's pretty tough uh, so I'm looking forward to Sunday I'm gonna go for an easy swim uh, that'll be nice um, and landing on the center and rolling onto the outside edge um, I would say I'm, I'm even I'm landing a little on the outside edge when I do it uh, sorry for walking away from the camera I just had to try, try and imagine it a little um, same way when you are in your out skating, if you do a perfect double push and you land with a lean and with the body rate right, right underneath yourself, um, when you put this leg down, it's also going to have a little edge on the blade uh, or in the frame. It goes for ice skating as well as, uh, as inline skating, so it is going to be a little to the outside. Uh, but again, we're limited because we're not on wheels or on blades, um, so we can only put it down with as much lean as it allows us before we, we tumble to the side, but yeah. Hope that uh, enters when is your Winter Olympics that's in Beijing in 2022. Um, so I still got a little while <laughs> to get ready for that. Uh, yeah, my goal is, uh, is to get a medal. It's a tough field, but that's the whole point of the Olympics. Uh, at the previous games I, I got a fifth place and I was really happy about that um, and I hope to improve that next time. We start in 10 seconds. <sighs> yep, speaking of improving. <laughs> okay, so the first one is kill zone. We've got through that a few times. We're starting three seconds, two seconds and go. Low and slow. Control is key. Realizing right now that I'm doing this in an incline so this might be pretty tough for my right leg. Or left, depends. I'll show you in a while. So make, even though these are not crazy big movements, um, make sure that you really get your body weight onto each leg. Feel it, like I said, uh, really feel it. That if you would want to, you'd be able to create a lot of power gain from side to side. Um, but here we just load it. Make sure to look up a little. Like somebody asked, how do I use my glutes more instead of burning up the legs? Try and get the knees up. You can get the shoulders up a little. Look, not completely forward, but at least through the eyebrows. Goes for skating as well. You want to know where you're, where you're going. We're already more than halfway. This is worse than set one. Maybe it's the pressure of you guys seeing how low I actually am. <laughs> Can't bail out now. Fifteen more. Stay relaxed, but compact. And rest up. Just two more exercises. Four minutes of work, short but good. Nice to see uh, a lot of people still with us. And thanks a lot for the super chats. Uh, it's not so late. You can always click the dollar sign and uh, and help me out. Whew. I feel like I earned it today. <laughs> so do you guys? Good job for staying, staying with me. Now we got the extension one. It's really gonna burn the side of the 
side of the boat. And then we just got that one, one little, little snappy, snappy exercise. Yeah, that's it. Start in 15 seconds. Shake the legs, don't sit down on the brake. That is uh, is not gonna help you recover in between exercises. Starting in five seconds. Two, one, remember, three to each side. No circle here, but straight in. When this goes out, you shouldn't get up, stay down, and just use your butt to hold this up in the air and let it go. Everything point forward, all the way through, goes for shoulders, goes for upper body, the knees as well, the hips, don't twist it, don't own up. First minute. Hey. Right. Keep that up. Don't fall forward. Smooth round back here. You may use your arms. It's getting warm out here. I don't know how warm. Warming up. 24 degrees Celsius. If any doubt. The last 15 seconds, guys. And we're done with this terrible exercise. One minute of rest, then we're gonna go for the up down dry skates. Whew. Sorry if I lack a little energy. Uh, tough week. Have a long bike ride tomorrow, uh, some weightlifting, some sprint stuff in the afternoon, and uh, and I'm out for the week. How do you train on the slide board? Uh, whew, good question, sir. How to train on the slide board? Um, yeah, obviously if you're a sprinter, uh, you'd probably want to keep it short. I think you can still do longer sessions on a slide board even as a sprinter, because it's not necessarily the snappiness, but more the position, stability you want to work. Uh, there's a lot of balance. So you can do I mean, like five times three minutes as a sprinter as well. Um, I think I usually do it, mainly do it as warm up or to fix some technical things, work on some cues. Start in five seconds. Uh, so I would not go for super long either. I think five times three minutes is, is what I could imagine doing. Here we go. Smooth, up, down, center. Up, down. Up, down. Don't let the shoulders go up. Keep them in the relaxed position. Last 20 guys. 
Rest until your next workout, does it? Oh. Thank you so much for uh, going through all of this with me. It's a pleasure. Somewhat a pleasure. Painful pleasure. I enjoy this every time. It's a lot of fun for me as well. And uh, yeah, working hard together makes it a little easier. So that's really nice. I appreciate the super chats and uh, I appreciate how many of you guys that actually go through with this. I don't think this is easy. Uh, so it's pretty badass that so many people are joining from start to end. If you're not watching live or if you fast forwarded to this moment, in the description, description down below you can see all the uh, all the different exercises and how to do them. Um, I did and I have 145, what do I have? It's probably down a little now, but 92, 94. Um, but I, I was up there heart rate wise. Um, make sure to just don't let's go lay on the bed. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for, for watching. Uh, I love to do dryland and uh, it's a weird love-hate relationship, but uh, I love to have you guys being a part of it. And uh, I'll make sure to continue this. Uh, this was the last for this week, but I promise that there will be more dryland next week. <laughs> um, I've also filmed a little to, uh, to make a video here on YouTube on how to practice inline skating from home. Um, so some of the things that we miss out when we do dryland like this is uh, for example the angle strength, the uh, all the small muscle groups that are necessary to like have a smooth skating movement and and that's the ability that you need once you get on wheels you get a little higher uh, wheels are pretty thin so uh, you need to be stable and, and capable of pushing right away so some things are impossible to uh, to figure out on shoes so um, different exercises that you can do while standing on skates um they're not easy i i struggle a lot to film it so uh so it's totally fair if it's hard for you guys to do it but i'll try and upload that as, as soon as i can and uh yeah thanks a lot for uh, today i mentioned it in the beginning uh below you can check out some t-shirts that uh, sophia and i made uh, we came up with some funny quotations uh, that some skaters most skaters especially if you follow this dryland workout you can definitely relate to it we call it the brand skate army uh so we're like a group of skaters you guys are involved <laughs> we're all together in this um so you can check those out and if you like them you can order some you can also share it if you want uh it's pretty funny it could be cool if we have more skaters wear them and and start the community that way until we uh we can actually get out skating with our friends as we uh, as we hopefully will one day <laughs> if you have any questions i will uh, i'll try and answer now i'll uh, yeah and thanks for the super chat earlier today uh that means a lot you can always super chat any amount you want it's like a small donation uh, youtube only takes a tiny tiny part of it and uh, the rest goes to support me which uh, which is really nice i uh, I'm thankful for that. Uh, oh, Vietnam. Wow. Thanks for the training. Spasiba sa trenerovko. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, so cool to see that many people. It's it's pretty cool that so many people also share this on, uh, on different, different social, social media platforms. Um, I, I think it's really nice and I hope more and more people, I can see more and more people are viewing, uh, watching. So I will take that as a good sign that we, uh, we're enjoying doing dry land to get her apart. Um, for me, it kind of makes up for the fact that I had planned during my off season where I train a little less myself. I have more time to try and share uh, knowledge or some of the skills that I, uh, that I developed or got to over years of training uh, in different teams, different countries. And it's kind of like my education. <laughs> um, to try and share that on different training camps. I had some in Denmark, uh, had some in Sweden and the Netherlands that I couldn't carry out due to the coronavirus. Um, so this is my my improvised plan B. So it's sort of a weekly online, really short but really painful training camp. And uh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. If you haven't, you can subscribe then you're gonna get a little notification whenever I plan the next of these workouts and uh, yeah thanks for the super chats and thanks for this training session you're, you're always welcome to comment in, in the feed once the video is over i'll i'll check it out later cool having you guys and uh train well recover well do a little cool down because this is gonna hurt your legs some more it hurts mine already thanks for now
Oh, we got a little super chat coming in. Thanks a lot. Oh, maybe I should stay here. Um, that's really kind. It's from Jeff. Jeff Broadway. Thanks a lot, Jeff. That's uh, very generous. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, thank you so much. Um, it's so nice. If, if we keep super chatting, I'll stay here for a little <laughs> for a little while. Um, if there's any special subjects you would want me to talk a little about, um, I can. Um, that's really nice, Jeff. I appreciate that. Thanks. Uh, yeah. If you have any questions, now is now is the time. Um, the weather's nice here, so I don't mind staying for a few minutes. If not, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hello, brother. Love from India. God, uh, I have I think I have a lot of Indian followers um, and a lot of Indian viewers. That's that's pretty cool. Um, I think inline skating is growing a lot in India, from from what I can understand. And uh, I've been asked a few times to go there and do training camps, which I really want to do. Um, I also convinced Sophia, my girlfriend, who's also a professional skater, to go with me. Um, sort of, I think. Unless she watches this, then uh, I'll spread the word to New York. Ice speed skating. Oh, that's cool. Gonna have some more uh, New Yorkers. Uh, yeah, I really hope you guys are doing well. I know that New York is, is in, in terms of the COVID-19, not the greatest place on earth right now to be. Um, so I hope you're healthy there and uh, that you can keep the morale high until uh, we get to, to better times, to a better place. Um, thanks for coaching. Thanks for, uh, for letting me tutor you guys. Uh, yeah, I really want to go to India. Um, I've never been. I, because I mainly do ice skating, I, I travel a lot. been to tons of countries, but they happen to be very cold. And, and I don't think India is, is the place for ice skating right now. Or, has ever been maybe in the future one day um but for inline skating it would be super cool to go there do a camp and and do some of what i just did right here but uh, in india um yeah i know we'll have to wait uh, it's a little unfortunate that i had my hopes of of coaching and getting out there and help people get a little faster um but it seems like that's gonna wait a while so um so that'll be for next season my own season like i mentioned just started uh, yeah uh, a week ago my own serious training where skating, uh, my own skating has become my first priority um, until, until we get to March when my ice season is over. So uh, I won't do much face-to-face uh, -face coaching um, and I can't do any camps this season anymore. Um, but I'll keep doing these dry lines if you people like them. Um, I'll take the super chest today as a, as a hint that it wasn't too bad. We'll love to skate with you. I would love to skate with you guys too. Um, yeah, it is. Even though this is cool, it's fun. It's nice to communicate with you guys and and, and feel like I'm part of a skating community or a club or a team. Um, even though I train on my own here, uh, it's it's still more fun when you're actually together. Um, especially when coaching people is a lot easier um, to go one on one for for technical things like try and point out uh, some technical cues that can help the the very exact uh, individual to, to develop because I'm trying to mention some of these common mistakes that I've seen a lot of over the years, but um, it's very individual. And some people, like today I mentioned, try and get the hip under. If, if you're already in a skating position where you're like, like this, it obviously makes no sense to try and get this forward, but once you get in a more aggressive aerodynamic um, position with the upper body, so it's hard. Um, it same goes for the videos I put on YouTube. They're general guidelines, but it all comes down to the, the skater himself or herself. <laughs> I don't know how uh, COVID-19 is by you guys, but uh, here in Portugal, because there's a national holiday now, um, there's police at the entrance of every city. Um, so I'm a little scared of going home. I have to like justify that my Airbnb place is there and uh, and that I'm I should be allowed to get into the city of Portimao. Um, I'll see if I can like tourist flirt my way through it. It's always interesting. Um, I always try to get lower, but it always hurts my legs. <laughs> yes, the story of a speed skater. Um, <laughs> Like I said, we made some t-shirts. Uh, Sophia designed a really cool t-shirt you can see in the description below that says, I can't feel my legs. Uh, <laughs> shout out to every single skater that has ever done dryline um, the same day and the day after. Uh, how to build up speed to skating. Oof, you gotta be good at starts. Um, if you're talking building up speeds as, as going from 
zero kilometers an hour to as fast as you can. Um, it's almost a different sport. It's not my specialty. I'm a long distance skater. Um, I've gathered some knowledge from simply um, learning from some good sprinters. I was training with Jeremy Wotherspoon. My coach now is Mitch Whitmore. They have both medaled multiple times at World Cups and gone to the Olympics. I don't know how many times they. Um, so they taught me a little. Um, it's it's more like running. It's more physical in that way. Um, no, I can't see you. Sorry. Um, so you would for sure want to have a lot of hip mobility, flexibility. Um, so you want your legs kind of open far enough. So obviously you can't go faster when you skate like this. So you want to open up more in the hips uh, in the beginning phase. Try and lean with the hip forward. So you like a straight line going forward. Um, lift the knees a little higher, also because then you can take more step, get more out of every push. Um, a teammate of mine, Harry Levo, a Finnish sprinter, a uh, European championship medalist uh, and a pure sprinter. He, uh, he, um, he teamed up with me for a really cool video. You can find it on the channel where I think it's, it's 10 minutes long and he goes through like every stage of starting, uh, right from getting the right position and then building until you're up at your maximum speed. Um, so I would check that out. He knows more about it than I do. I've also made a few uh, technical exercises that I've found to be pretty useful when when trying to work on your sprint. Um, yeah, it's it's always a good thing, especially now when there's no races coming up. Try and focus on those things. Even as a long distance skater, every race starts with a start. Uh, I try and tell myself as often as I can to be a little focused for that. Um, I'm Willie. Willie. Hey, Willie. How to have a good start and a finish because I mess up both. Uh, the finish is just doing the hawk. Um, depends what sport. If it's ice skating, you like, try and put your leg as far out as you can. Um, but for inline skating, you want to go like that. Um, that's a little more complicated. It takes a lot of strength to balance, uh, a combination of several skills. Um, do you play Pop G? I don't know what that is. I don't. Uh, And uh, yeah, so finishing is also difficult. Um, I made a video on it. Uh, it's a little more simple, but how to like, step step by step get to that finish hawk that can, sure, uh, if it's down to the inches, maybe win your race. Um, let's check that out. I am, uh, I'm gonna go give it a shot, see if I can get home. Thanks for the super chats. Uh, you still have a few more seconds if you wanna, if you wanna donate in the last minute. Thanks for all the views, the shares on social media. Uh, I'd love to see the channel grow, it's super cool. And uh, Sophia told me to say hi to all of you. Um, she couldn't be here because she's she's working out at home today. Um, but I'll see you. Oh, Willie, that Willie, that's a teammate of mine. Uh, cool to see you. Hope you're doing good. Uh, good life in Europe. Yeah, life in Europe is pretty sweet, especially in the south when the weather's like this. <laughs> um, yeah, hey Willie, say hi to Hope and all the and sunshine and and the rest of them. Um, I will I will head home. Thanks a lot. You too, be, be careful with the drivers and uh, yeah, follow up Instagram, Facebook and here and I will let you know when there's the next live. Yes, I will say hi to Sophia. Hey Nor, oh, we got so many people I know here. That's pretty cool. It's like hanging out with friends. Uh, shout out me. Hey Gunder, Gorinder, Sink. Oh, that's a complicated name. Anyways, I gotta get going. It was a massive pleasure. You can comment after. I'll make sure to look at it and uh, I'll give you one minute to super chat. If, uh, if you want to be generous, I'll make sure. I'll promise to have more of this coming up. Uh, bearings are full ceramic. Ceramic, uh, if you want them to be good, they can be full ceramic. Uh, if they're not ceramic, they're not full ceramic. Full ceramic bearings are bearings that can deal with almost any kind of dust and weather. Uh, it's useful. It's also super expensive, um, but I think it's worth it. If you skate at a high level or you're just too lazy to clean your bearings after a rainy ride, ceramic bearings are good. I don't think they do any difference uh, in good conditions. They're not gonna roll faster or make you more fly, but um, they're really sustainable. So if you plan on skating for a long time and in tough conditions, yeah, go for it. Ceramic, it's, uh, it's a good investment. Peace out. Have a wonderful weekend when you get to that. And uh, sorry about the sore legs. You can come on, hang out with me for, uh, for a few minutes. 
I will uh, put on my skates. I'm gonna do my cool down on inline skates. It's a nice way to uh, to to try and transfer some of the things I was just focusing on now uh, onto the skates. And uh, yeah, and work on that. Um, I think that's a good way to get a better carryover from. Uh, from exercise to actual skating. Uh, obviously I said that one of the reasons I do it is after skating is because I might be too tired to, uh, to skate well, but do these exercises are more simple. Um, but I also would put it different with the opposite way that if you skate really easy, it's a cool way to adjust and, and to really use some of the skills that we're working on when we do dry land, use them on wheels. So uh, I'll give that a shot. Also skating is hella fun. It's more fun than uh, jogging cool down. So uh, I think all of us watching this can agree on that. Uh, just depends how tired you are. If you're completely smashed from these exercises, uh, and barely can barely walk. Maybe it's not the best idea to hump it and hop on the skates and uh, make it even worse. But uh, I feel somewhat okay. You're Alan Walker, that would be cool. Anyways, um, see you later.